First, though, breaking news this morning. People tried to storm the main gate at the U.S. Embassy now in Yemen. And we've seen a huge demonstration outside there. Now, here is some of the video. You see the people on the fence. Well, Yemen's government just said the situation there is now under control. Witnesses say that some people tried to break windows into the embassy security room. Now, Yemeni security forces fired shots trying to get people back. This makes the third U.S. outpost in the Middle East or North Africa region to be mobbed in three days. Now, these two U.S. Navy warships are headed for Libya's coast. U.S. officials say that the destroyers have Tomahawk missiles, which could be used if a strike is ever ordered. The U.S. promised to avenge Tuesday's killing of a U.S. ambassador to Libya and three other Americans in Benghazi. At first, it was assumed that this was part of the anger over a film critical of Islam. Now, U.S. sources say that the attackers may have used that as a diversion and that the killings may have been planned. Friends of Ambassador Christopher Stevens say that he went to Libya with a clear mission. I just remember his mom saying, well, why are you going over there anyway? And of course, she was kind of tongue in cheek. And he said, well, mother, to help the Libyan people and to represent the United States interests in this country. Take a look at the fire that was outside the U.S. Embassy in Egypt and Cairo. About 500 people were at this demonstration. So once again, you got three different countries going on here with these protests. Two police trucks and a car were set on fire here in Egypt. Now, riot police were called out at one point, and they fired warning shots and tear gas at the protesters. Now, the